What's up guys, my name is Nick Fish and welcome to this video where I'm gonna show you the best budget vlogging camera for your channel. Before we dive into it, this is a vlogging channel. So if you guys wanna hit subscribe, I post two vlogs a week. So if you're like me, the first search term you looked up was best vlogging camera. And you probably received two suggestions on those videos. One is the Canon G7X. That's a $700 camera. And two might be the Canon 70D, which is a $1,000 camera, just the body. If you wanna get a lens and the microphone you need to make that a vlogging camera, it's gonna be $1,400. Now, I am shooting this on a DSLR, but it's a lower level Canon Rebel SL1, and it doesn't have a flip out screen. I was looking for a camera that was within my budget and had a flip out screen and recorded 1080p video. This is the Olympus Tough TG870, and it is $270. That is a budget camera. Now this is not gonna be a comprehensive review of every feature on this camera. I'm gonna talk about video specifically and how it functions as a vlogging camera. Second priority after budget and finding a vlogging camera was that it had an articulating screen. This camera has an 180 degree flip up screen that is great for selfies. To get a couple tech spec things out of the way that you might be curious about, it's got a 16 megapixel MOS sensor and a 21 millimeter wide angle lens but automatically corrects inside the camera to get rid of any of that distortion you get with a wide angle lens. This camera does have optical image stabilization, so it's great for a walk around camera. It really does do a pretty good job of getting rid of that jitter in your footsteps. It can shoot up to 240 frames per second at 480 by 360 and 120 frames per second at 640 by 480. This camera does shoot 1080p video beautifully. One thing a lot of cameras in this field don't do well is that even though you have a flip out screen and you can see yourself recording, you're still fumbling to find the buttons on the back of the camera or to hit the shutter button. This camera has a designated button up front that you can program to either be shutter for stills or to be your record button for filming vlog type clips. So this camera does have tons and tons of cool creative filters and different settings you can go through. If you guys want me to do a full comprehensive review, let me know in the comments below. But some of my favorite things this camera has is an auto mode that automatically adjusts the lighting for you. That is great when you're out and about and shooting your vlog, but it also has a program auto mode you can use where you can manually adjust your settings. And for those of us that are familiar with the DSLR and know how to adjust our aperture and shutter speed, this camera allows you to do that and it's great. If you subscribe to vloggers, and you've been watching vlogging long enough, I guarantee you've seen at least one of your favorite vloggers break one of their cameras. And if you watch Casey Neistat for more than two episodes, you've seen him break one of his cameras. This camera is called the Tough for a reason. It can survive drops up to seven feet, it's crush proof over 200 pounds, and it's waterproof up to 50 feet. That's right, this thing can get wet, it can go underwater, not to mention this thing is freeze proof and dust proof so it can really withstand almost anything. Unfortunately, it doesn't do great in the heat at about 100 something degrees outside. It will start to overheat if you're recording for too long, but generally that's not a huge deal. I've only encountered it once in the three months I've had this camera. It takes SD cards, so transferring data is incredibly easy. It comes with a USB cord, so if you wanna transfer data that way, it's super easy. It's got a pretty decent battery life. It has a rechargeable lithium ion battery. I'd say it lasts for about two hours of filming video. Um, I do recommend buying extra batteries and chargers for this camera. I'll put links in the description below to the batteries and chargers I have for this camera. I can throw this thing in a camera bag without worrying about it. I can take this thing on a kayak with me without worrying about ruining it. I love this camera as a vlogger because it serves every single need I have. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe so you can see how I use this camera in my vlogs, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.